What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with another video, last video of this week. Today we have a new build of Windows 11 in the dev channel. As you know, it is Thursday, so we always get a new build for the most part. It is build 22454, and with it, we don't really get too many changes, which is why there's going to be a very, this is gonna be a very short video. Uh, the main major change that you'll notice is when you go to the recycling bin, the one thing that I probably haven't clicked on in a long time, and it's the context menu that comes with it. When you right click it, it has a new context menu and this is how it looks. It is the new modern context menu that they like to talk about. Uh, by default, this is how it was in the previous build right here. I took a screenshot. This is how it looked and I'll actually put this one up so you can compare it to. You see that in the one on the right, which is the original, the previous build, you can see that it pretty much was the general Windows 10 context menu with rounded corners though. Uh, whereas on the left, the new one looks very nice, very good updated fonts and everything. The new Windows 11 designed modern context menu that they call it. Um, so that's that's pretty much it um, with the whole design of it. You notice the trash can icon has changed from its fluent look uh, back to like a flat look, kind of feeling like, um, to me, it kind of reminds me of the Metro style look, even though it's not. Uh, they got icons and all the things, just like how when you right click anything on Windows 11, uh, you got those icons right there on everything. So it looks good. And that's pretty much the major change in it. So let's jump into the blog post to see what this is about. So they have a bunch of fixes here, including the Korean IME candidate window. Uh, they added some updated design, updated performance, definitely treating the Korean users with love and letting them have an updated design as well, not looking like the old Windows 10 version. Keep everything aligned with Windows 11 and how that looks. You can see that gradient right there if I zoom in. You can see that difference in color, simple difference in color. Little subtle changes always works pretty well in my opinion. Uh, obviously the updated context menu for the trash can or the uh, recycling bin is what they like to call it. And they said it added an option when right clicking a network share in the file explorer to pin it to quick access without having to show more options. Um, and then the slew of fixes, there's a whole slew of fixes. In fact, if I scroll, you just keep seeing fixes, a ton of fixes. Obviously I am not gonna uh, read through all of this. I'm gonna pick like four, but before I even read through any of it, uh, there's one major thing that I wanted to point out that has not been fixed and I've still had issues with. And that is essentially when you first boot your computer up or restart your computer, anything that requires you to re-log in to your computer, Windows 11, uh, the taskbar does not show up. It just shows a non-updated taskbar. It's just, it's just, you don't see any icons to interact with. You can't right click it. You can't do anything. In fact, you can't open up any store apps or anything like that. You can't, you can't even go to your desktop and right click and hit display settings. Whereas, uh, cause if you do that, it brings up an error message and a whole bunch of just issues with windows Explorer that happen randomly when you restart your computer or turn on your computer fresh. So I hope they fix that very soon, even if the dev channel currently is basically things that are not gonna be uh, in Windows 11 right away or may never actually come to Windows 11, features that may never come that we'll be testing. But I really wish that they fix that because that bug does not just apply to the dev channel, it also applies to the beta channel as well. Now, going to the fixes, um, I'll read this highlighted fix, it says, we fixed an issue that was causing it, uh, PCs with Windows Defender Application Guard, WDAG, enabled to bug check continuously. PCs with WDAG enabled should now receive build 22454. So that's a highlight general fix that they did. Um, it says Windows Terminal is listed again when right clicking the start button or pressing Windows key X to the advanced menu. Now in my uh, experience, when I was looking at the previous build that was happening, uh, Windows Terminal showed up for me. So I'm not sure, I guess a lot of other people had that issue, but I never had an issue of seeing Windows Terminal there unless there's something else that happened. Um, and then it says narrator should announce start launch more reliably now. So if you're one of the people that uses uh, narrator, you, you get that, that update and now it's fixed hopefully. And there's no other bug that will come up, but knowing how beta builds are and things like that, bugs will always come. And then it says shift click on an app. Another fix for the taskbar says shift click on an app icon in the taskbar to launch a new instance of the app. For apps that support multiple instances, it is now working again, which is pretty good. So at least basically if you are uh, using like a web browser, you can shift click on an app to launch a new instance of an app if it supports it. So let's see, Brave supports new instances, so it works. So it says it should be now working again. 
I didn't know that it wasn't working. Personally, I'd only open up one browser at a time or one instance of an app at a time. So that's about it. But there's a whole bunch more fixes that, of course, I'm going to leave this blog post in the description box so you guys can read up on it. And if you find anything that wasn't listed here, such as that issue with Explorer.exe or Windows Explorer is what they call it now, uh, obviously report it in the feedback hub as well as leave a comment with it. Leave a comment with it and just put it in my comments uh, section below as well, just so that way, in case maybe it's not seen in Feedback Hub, they might actually see it in uh, my comment section. Who knows if anything gets, you know, picked up to be fixed. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this build. Do you have any issues with it? I'm just curious. Um, any issues, any, any things that it got improved in your opinion that you noticed or you might have noticed that I didn't notice? Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later.